All right, good morning. It's another day of activity, heading out. And I wonder anybody actually watched the Olympics, right? I think it's about one day or two days ago. Okay, this guy from Poland. And there's, there's this event, um, it's called walking. Okay, it walks, you know, like this. And this guy from Poland came in first. 50 kilometers in three hours, 50 minutes and eight seconds. Wow. <laughs> even faster than me running my, my full marathon I think my faster timing is actually 4 hours 4 hours 40 something and this guy walk for 50 kilometer so I've decided today I'm not going to run I'm going to walk okay so in celebration of our nation's 56th birthday happy birthday Singapore I'm just going to anyhow Whoa. Okay, so remember my video, I think probably about a month ago and I came to this uh, train market thinking that it will actually be opening on the 1st of August. Yep, I'm back here again, alright, with a different view altogether. Okay, the last time you see there's a couple of tentage, tentages over here. Okay. Huh? Okay. Okay, okay, calm. And they make this loyalty. Okay, calm. Not a problem. Okay, calm. Okay, so yeah, the lady said that yeah, it's not allowed to take video. Okay, but I think you can see from the back. Okay, it's very much empty and things are very much tear down from here. Okay, as you can see, right, things are all tear down. Okay, so yeah, it was announced like I think last week uh, it will be permanently closed. And, but there are also news that are saying that this closure will only be temporary. So, yeah, I think there's, there's not too much to be said, to be honest. I do not know, you know, what they'll be doing with this big empty space. Alright, probably, okay, I'm just suspecting that this, they'll be using this space for temporary COVID isolation. I'm not too sure, okay, but I'm, one thing that, well, I'm 90% certain is that this market will definitely be back. If not, what are they going to do with this space? I'm not too sure if there's going to be any property developer that's going to build more condo. I'm not too sure, alright? It's just my perception, okay? Because there are a lot of, lots of unsold units and a lot of, co a lots, a lots of condo over here, alright? Because every weekend, I will see those, you know, like part-timers holding the flag, you know, saying that, yeah, this condo, there are units for sales. It's a very common sight, okay? Most of the condo, okay? New ones, definitely. And especially some more than a year, okay? Still have units on, on sale. And who are the people buying it, right? Definitely, I mean, yeah, there are locals. I mean, locals might not buy it with the kind of money they could have buy, you know, landed property. Because the foreigners are not allowed to own landed property over here unless you have a spout and have their name in it. Otherwise, for foreigners, okay, you can only buy condo units over here. And all right, I mean, I'm not too sure, but you know how many foreigners will be coming in, all right, in the next year or so. And it's just my personal view, all right. And for working here, it's actually not. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's not good, right? It's just that the process is is very tedious. Okay, one thing probably you might not know is that, regardless of the visa that you're holding, okay, every ninety days, okay, you have to do you have to go to immigration to report. Okay, they do have an online system whereby you can actually report online. Okay, but the website is always down. It's not stable. I don't know why. So you have to travel probably about you know near to Dongwen Airport, the old airport there. Okay, and report. And the report probably takes about less than five minutes if there's no queue, and you're done. And you have to do that every 90 days. And one of the things that I also don't understand is that for a work permit holder, okay, for in Singapore, okay, once you have a work permit, usually the work permit is actually valid for two years, and then you are allowed to stay in Singapore. Over here, you get a work permit for a year, but you need a visa to stay in Singapore. So it doesn't make sense, right? That means you either need to extend your visa 
or you either need to hold a business visa I mean yeah, well, your company can actually apply for you but there are certain companies that can't apply that for you okay and yeah there's, there's tons of paperwork all right a lot of things can be done online I think in Singapore a lot of things can be you know so convenient you can e-submit you know e-documents but again here you have to print out, you have to print out copies and copies and copies and copies of the passport, this page, that page, everything, a lot of documents. To extend one 60 days COVID visa, I have to print out, I can't remember how many pages, 20 over pages of documents. Okay, I have to translate this, I have to go to the embassy to verify this, verify that. Just to translate, I mean just to extend the 60 days visa. And when you go to the immigration, Wow, you can see tons of tons and stacks of texts of paper. I don't know how environmental friendly is that. So, yeah, any anyway, <laughs> long story short, can't be short, huh? it's very long. <laughs> so, I believe this market will definitely be back. Okay, night market, alright, Talat, Neon, okay, the Neon market, Art Box. Definitely they are closed because there's no tourists. Why, why are they opening, right? So, they will be closed, alright, but I don't think it's going to be permanent and I'm quite certain on 90% or 95% trust me, okay, if they are open, I will review back to this video and tell you that I'm right Okay, let's keep walking Okay, here I am at this temple Just gonna put the things here and then take the enchantment stick take the and tell it to This is the Ganesha train, right? Okay, one thing I like about running on the street here is the fruits. It's available almost everywhere. And it's tough for you. Um, I realize when I come here, I eat a lot of food. More food than I eat in a year when I'm in Singapore. That's why I'm lazy to cut. And here the foods are easily available 
they cut for you and it's cheap and the most important is fresh and nice okay so i've actually walked past the chapa chap market and on the front side where the bts and the mrt station is it looks close but if you walk to the back it's actually open okay so these are the pet section they have pig you know piglet they have duck rabbit bird and they are not in a very good living condition hamster doggy rabbit they have the yeah, tortoise I don't know what you call that Oh, that's a lot of them. There's so many of them. This is the monitor lizard. Oh, I don't know what you call that. That's a green color. What is this? People buy this to keep or buy this to eat. I guess they can't close, right? I don't know because so this pet still needs to be fed and still need to be taken care of on a daily basis I mean they can't bring the chicken or you know or this they can't bring this back home every day right so I think it's left here at the shop so they have to come and tend the shop every day to feed them so which is why probably they are here every day or which is why the reason this session is open. Hey, so I've actually walked from home. Actually walk jog. Can't really fool you walk. Okay, all the way to Longzi Station. Remember that I was chasing the blue line in the last video? And I saw this station. Very, very grand. It looks like an airport. So here I am, checking this out. Since I'm here, let's check out the red line. Well, I know quite a number of um, YouTubers, I mean, a number of videos has really been published and it's been shared on YouTube right about this red line but yeah anyway I'm not actually taking the train usually I'm checking out the station by foot one station to another station so I don't know how long this is going to take and I don't know if I will be doing it today but since I'm here Let's go check it out. Since I'm here, I'm just gonna be anyhow walking. It's actually a vaccine center as well. So I'm not too sure if this is the entrance to the train station. It's because apparently it's very, very huge. Oh, so cool. Back on. So this is the central vaccination center. Ticket counter. It's not really ready, I guess. Oh, so cold. I walk almost. I don't know how many km I'm ready. I walk actually three hours. Three hour plus. Okay, so it's the airport railing. Don't think we are going to the airport railing. And uh, there's a ticket machine. So okay, so I'm supposed to enter here. 
right? I think so. Just following the and also how about bang? Eh, run sit. Am I cut? Cut. Oh, okay. Cut. Must right name. And I was actually looking for the place to buy ticket, but. Okay, so yeah, just now I was saying that I was trying to find the ticket machine to buy ticket. Only then I realized it's free. Yes, correct. So for the opening, it was open actually. If I'm not wrong, last week, last weekend, one week ago. All right, seven days ago, and the free ride. If I'm not wrong, it's until September for a month. Or probably more than a month. Okay, I'm not too sure. But let's see. Let's see. Since it's free, I can go in to check it out and have a look. Okay, so I don't have to. My Insta cam battery died on me, and my camera or my phone also left with I think about let me see 18. Oh, temperature too high. Oh, sh 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 sh. Okay, I'm back, and it's actually now about 8 p.m. Right, so yeah, I was doing a um, walk. Actually, I was actually walk, running and walking at the same time, and also playing with, you know, taking video and playing some effects and all those things. And um, yeah, my phone battery gone flat when I want to did the you know the closing. But yeah, anyway, I've completed my National Day run here. Okay. Started at 10.59 a.m. Alright, on Saturday, 7th of August. Okay, and then, yep. 56 km with a total time of 8 hours. That's it. 
I'm tired. <laughs> Just want to say happy birthday, Singapore. All right, and happy National Day. Although I'm far away, but yeah, I also can be part of the celebration. Okay, next station. Lang Po. Lang Po. It's basically you'll be running in the middle of nowhere, and for the first time, uh, I'm feeling so thirsty. Uh, I'm a bit lost already. The track is quite far away on my right, but the side I cannot cross over because of this. Below there's also another railway track, and yeah, five hour plus. Oh yo. 5 hour plus really coming 6 hours and I'm so hungry and guess what if you're hungry uh, yeah, yeah, I'll see my mask and drop out okay, anyway if you're hungry eat hot dog oh, yeah, I bought something see it's so difficult to take video and you know eat at the same time uh, anyway <laughs> Oh. Oh. Hot. Just bought it less than a minute ago. They're still frying. Oh. Okay, so I'm actually running along the road. See, middle of nowhere. So, it's not runnable. Maybe there's other route that can be run. So this red line is not as run friendly as the other line. And really, to be honest, it's like the middle of nowhere. Where to find 7 Eleven? Unless you probably cut into those small lane and you know, you might have a chance of getting some water, food. But here is. Oh, what is this? 